Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 Senior Athletic Banquet. As you can tell, a little different circumstances than we're used to. Um, but there is no way we would not recognize the wonderful young men and women that participate here at Lakeview in our athletic program. Uh, it's wonderful to have the opportunity to recognize them, and as we find ways to recognize their contributions to Lakeview, it's an honor tonight to be in front of you talking about all the young men and women who have given so much to this school. Um, as we go forth, uh, we hope that we have uplifting spirits from just a little time spent together. First of all, I'd like to thank a few people as we go into our uh, ceremony. First and foremost, I'd like to thank John Simpson. Our interim head is probably one of the most supportive per people of athletics. He is there for the kids, he's there for the teams, he's there for the coaches, and he's a true um, advocate for what athletics means to young people. Uh, the next person will be Beth McElwee. Beth, uh, as the leader of our upper school, is always there to find ways to benefit the kids who um, are participating in athletics, both academically and athletically. She is on their side. It's wonderful to have her support as well. Um, and a couple other people, Sandra Berry tonight. Sandra is putting all this together. Uh, we have to really thank her. Uh, she's putting in a little bit of extra time here uh, in a lot of things we're doing at school, but specifically here with the athletic banquet. And finally, uh, I'd like to recognize Brian Smith, his work in getting the awards and getting everything kind of uh, tied together so that we could celebrate tonight. Um, and last but not least, I'd like to thank you parents. Uh, you give us your greatest gift. It is a wonderful opportunity to share with your family and share uh, with your children. Uh, we take it as a point of pride here at Lakeview in our athletic department to be a part of their life. And I hope that this time of celebration uh, reiterates this as you watch the video coming next. Sit back and enjoy, and we'll get back together in a few moments. Caleb, man, you had a injury prone three years, and thankfully this year you you avoided for the most part. Um, when I think about you and what I remember about you is I always felt like you could rise to the occasion. Um, you know, there was a time, I think you were a sophomore, and at Hebron you really uh, had to go in an emergency type situation and go against people who were much bigger and stronger than you and you held your own you did really really well and I think that kind of you have a gift inside of you so in the future when things get tough there's no doubt you can do it you can absolutely rise to whatever occasion that this world will demand of you you're an awesome guy good luck in the future Caleb, I just wanted to start by saying thank you for your efforts over the last two years uh, at Lakeview Academy on the golf team. I know that this senior year didn't end the way that you wanted it to, um, but I'm still thankful for your efforts. Uh, I am thankful for the relationship that we've built over the last two years, and even more with you. I've seen you grow up since you were 12 years old, um, and I'm very proud of the man you've turned into and I, I wish you the very best in your future endeavors and whatever you choose to do. Thanks, buddy. Jackie Allen, or just plain Jack, what a great defensive player you were covering the best player on the other team every game. Not only that, but you ran our team. You got the ball to people that I wanted to shoot the ball or people that was open. Never, never forget your smiling, smiling face and how much fun you are to be around. Andrew Baker, Coach Groom. So glad you decided to come out for football. I believe it was your sophomore year. You know, in your football career, there's no telling how many positions you actually played. It was a multitude, and you did it with such a unselfish heart, just whatever you could do to help us, uh, help us compete. You know, I remember, I think it was your sophomore year, 
had you at quarterback, and you were a third guy, I believe, at the time, and not got a whole lot of reps at quarterback, and we had to put you in against uh, Prince Avenue, who I believe went on to play for the state championship that year, and man, you did it to the best you could. You didn't whine about it, didn't complain about it, just did to the best of your ability what we wanted you to do. Uh, to me, that's a great attribute that you have. You know, moving forward, Andrew, I hope you keep keep developing that work ethic, keep developing that belief in yourself, because uh, when you have those two, and I've seen it, man, you can do some incredible things. So keep developing those two things. You're a good guy. You're a high-character guy, and I believe you have a bright future. Thank you so much for everything, and good luck. Andrew, I'd like to start off by thanking you uh, for your effort on the golf team at Lakeview Academy over the last two years. Uh, and also thank you for the impact that you made on the guys that played with you. Um, your personality is significant and it's magnified amongst your teammates. Uh, we had a lot of laughs together on the golf course, off the golf course, but I just want to thank you for what you've done and wish you the best in your future endeavors. Hey Joe, it's Coach Chittero. I can't say enough about your patience. That is what I appreciate most about you. There are very few people that would have waited a whole season like you did last year. Thanks for coming out and working hard and practicing every day. You're a talented young man and I really enjoyed getting to know you and see your talents on stage this year and in past years in the plays you performed in. Good luck. Hannah Bumgardner. From ballet to cheer, this has been so much fun. The football and basketball cheer squad would not have been complete without you. You have been such a dependable cheerleader. I know I could count on you for anything I needed. You are such a sweet and kind girl. I look forward to hearing what all you accomplish in college. Love you, girl. Our first senior on the tennis team is Ashton Blim. Ashton played uh, three singles for us this year. But she was new to singles, and I kind of put him in a situation that might have been a little different. Uh, but he rose to the occasion, winning two out of three times of our limited schedule. Um, he also won a lot for us last year at the uh, number two double spot. When I think of Ashton, I think of a team player, someone who is willing to step up and fill the role that is needed to best help the team. Thank you uh, for your service to our team, Ashton, and for making Lakeview a great place to attend school and play tennis. Thank you, Ashton. Bella Bird. Okay, so you are one of the girls on this cheer squad that I have known the longest. I remember that cute little face in kindergarten and have enjoyed watching you grow up into a beautiful woman. I appreciate all the help you gave as one of the basketball captains this year. It has been an honor watching you grow and create friendships throughout high school. I look forward to watching you grow in college too. Love you. Bella Bird is our second senior on the tennis team, and uh, Bella was new to tennis uh, this year, which is uh, completely okay. And she came out this year uh, on the first day of practice and was very straightforward that, that she was new, but she made great improvements uh, this year. And I'm proud of Bella for jumping into a sport um, her senior year, especially a sport that is a great lifetime sport, meaning that you can continue to play um, throughout your entire life, even to old age. So thank you, Bella, uh, for letting me be a part of your uh, the beginning of your tennis journey. Um, thank you for having a good attitude and practice. Thank you for traveling to matches. And thank you for making uh, this a great season. Thank you, Bella. Abigail Child, love, love, love that you decided to give basketball cheer a chance your senior year. I know it was out of your comfort zone, but no one would have known. You did an awesome job. I love your smunk and to the point attitude. Thank you for always including the underclass cheerleaders and making them feel special. I'm so glad I will get to see more of you at Georgia Southern. Love you lots. Hey Abby, it's Coach Chittero. Thank you for all you have meant for our girls cross country team. You are so selfless and will help out in any way possible. You are, you are such a kind and encouraging person and that is a real testament to your character. I will miss your perseverance most of all, how you would do whatever you could to continue to compete as much as possible. 
I love that competitive nature you have, and I hope you continue with that drive as you move to college next year. Abigail Child, you were a four-year starter for the soccer varsity program. I want to thank you for the wonderful defense you've given us throughout the last four years. You took that stopper position and you made it your own. You did everything we asked, even if it was guarding a six-foot-two girl in the state playoffs as a freshman. I really appreciate all of your hard work, how you played when you were tired, hurt, didn't matter. You never complained. You always gave it everything you had. All right. And I know you will probably still be the only player I've ever had who ever fouled out of a soccer game, if that's even possible. And I'll never forget, too, when you fouled a girl last year in the playoffs and they gave their yellow card to Hannah. So somehow you, you pulled that off. But thank you for everything you've done for us. I wish you all the best and I hope you keep playing. Maddie Child. Yay, I am so glad you and your sister decided to try basketball cheer your senior year. You were such a joy to coach. I loved your smile and you grew with confidence as the season progressed. Thank you for being such a great cheerleader and friend. I know I will see more of you as you move on to Georgia Southern. Love you lots. Hey Maddie Child, it's Coach Chittero. I really appreciate you coming out to cross country this past year. You had such a great attitude and it was a perfect fit for such a tough sport like cross country. I really appreciate how you embrace the practices and especially the really hard ones. I hope that you continue to love running and I will miss having you on the team next year. One thing that I will miss most from you was your consistency. You always hit your mark. Good luck next year. Mighty child, you were a four year starter for the varsity soccer program. While you potentially played midfield for the most of your career, and especially outside midfield, there were times where we asked you to play center midfield and even defense, and you did it as best as you could and as hard as you could. You may have given me a funny look, but you definitely played for the benefit of your teammates. You were not in this game to play for the glory to you. You were in it to do what you could to make your team better, even if it meant giving up assists and giving up goals. I appreciate all that you've done for us for these last four years. I'm really going to miss you. I wish you all the best as you keep moving forward, and I hope you keep playing. Holden, it's been a true honor and blessing to have coached you. I have so many great memories of you and always will. So proud of the man that you're becoming, and I'm so thankful for the person that you were for our school and for our team this year. You have so many great characteristics, and I'm so impressed this year with your character and your commitment to your team and to your teammates. You're so unselfish probably too unselfish at times, but no one can ever fault you for putting others above yourself. That's a huge quality that's going to make you unbelievably successful. I know you're going to reach your goals and your dreams, and I'm so thankful for all the blessings you've given us all, especially me and my family. I'm excited to see where God takes you in your future. Please stay in touch. I hope you enjoyed playing with your brother as much as I enjoyed watching you play. I'm going to miss you. I love you, Holden. Holden, it has been a pleasure to coach you. Uh, When coaching you and watching you uh, really puts a coach at ease because of the way you make it look so easy. I appreciate your leadership. I appreciate your demeanor. And, and most of all, I appreciate you as a person. Um, I look forward to uh, your future and all that it holds for you. Thank you, Holden. Hey, John Carter. It's Coach Chittero. I really enjoyed having gotten to know you over the years. I'm thankful personally for your influence on my own children and watching you grow and mature over the years. This year in cross country, you became a selfless individual that was instrumental in our success and your encouraging words during the season. I'm glad you decided to come back and play soccer this season. You have been a great influence on the team and I will miss your vocal leadership and practices. Continue to be confident in your ability. You have so much to offer this world. Always compete and I will miss our dinners at Bojangles most of all. Take care. John Carter, we want to thank you for your contributions to the shooting team. Those days of practice and and doing two sports at one time really helped make both teams successful. We just want to thank you and wish you all the best. Andrew, uh, I've always said about certain players is way you know how great they are is when you know you would pay to go watch them play and you are one of those. Uh, You have uh, really made the last four years a true joy in watching you grow and develop as a player. Your attitude is second to none. Your effort is second to none. I'm really going to miss you uh, because of just of your presence, 
all around the team each and every day. I appreciate you and uh, look forward to your career at Furman. Andrew, thank you very much. Trent Glover, Coach Groom, I'm just going to go ahead and call you the GOAT. And everybody knows why, no doubt about it. Of course, it's been told many times, but your ninth grade year, first time I think we ever met. First time you came in that weight room within five minutes, you're not feeling too good. Throw up, I think you throw up on some kids. And um, my first thought, as I've told you, that I will never see you again on the football field or the weight room. And boy, was I glad I was wrong. Uh, not only did you come back, you stayed with it, you worked hard, one of the hardest workers we've ever had, and one of the most committed guys we've ever had. And um, man, what a blessing it was that you stayed with us. It was uh, awesome and an honor to coach you. Hey Trent, this is Coach Chittero. I will always remember that goal that you smashed in the back of the net this year from way out in the corner of the field. It was one of the best goals I have seen as a coach. And you and I both know that you so meant to do that. I will miss your strength and your ability to knock guys off the ball with your physical presence. I thank you for being a great leader and always trying to do what I asked. It was a pleasure watching you grow as a person and player over the years. Eliza Hamby, wow, what a fun four years coaching you has been. The memories we have made together hold a special place in my heart. I can remember you as a shy sixth grader, and now you have turned into an independent leader. Thank you for the leadership you provided during the basketball season as one of the captains. I can't wait to see all the things you will accomplish at Ole Miss. I will always be your number one cheerleader through college. Wishing you the best. Love you, girl. Hey, Lily, it's Coach Chittero. But it was quite an accomplishment to set the school record this past year especially after taking a year off of running and focusing on swimming. It's even more impressive when you were able to do it while still training for swim. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication and your drive to compete at such a high level. I know you are going to do well and I will miss you next year. Lily, Coach Coker here. I just wanted to say that I'm super proud of everything that you've accomplished this year. I know you practice extremely hard both during the season and year round to uh, uh, to do everything that you've done and be able to participate in state and set a personal best at state and kind of go out on top like that. That's just a phenomenal work. And I know I only got to be with you a year, but just know that I'm super proud of you and just anything that you set your mind to in life you're going to be able to accomplish hey Catherine, it's coach chittero i just wanted to thank you for you know what you meant to the cross country girls program and you know mainly your leadership and you know i was glad to have you back out there running this year and it's unfortunate you know that that you got hurt and weren't able to continue running through the rest of the season but just the fact that you continue to stay as part of the team and you're out there and supporting your teammates, I think is just a testament to, you know, your character as a person. And, you know, I know the team really appreciated the, the moral support that you were given, and, and I surely did, and enjoy just having you out there. Um, you know, we're gonna miss you next year. You know, I wish you the best, and, you know, thanks for all the dedication that you put into cross country and to our team. Good luck. Catherine, first off, I just wanted to let you know that it has been my pleasure to get to know you this year and your attitude every morning and how happy-go-lucky you are. It's, it's very contagious. I know we didn't get to spend much time together, but I just wanted you to know that I am extremely, extremely proud of uh, how hard you worked through your early injuries during the season, and once you got at, back out there ready to go, you were uh, full speed. It's It's been a pleasure to get to know you. Sam Highfield, Coach Groom. Sam, I appreciate you committing to us for four years. I like to say that I probably had you out of position. Should have put you at X, 
or C. I know Caleb thinks he should have been there, but uh, yeah, you you would have been the guy. Uh, Could have got it done right there for sure. You know, Sam, I, I remember sometimes when you were, gosh, you you were really good at mentoring young linemen. You take them under your wing and, and really coach them up on the side, encourage those guys, and I always thought that was a wonderful attribute that you had. I like to encourage you, you know, we had that little lesson on the river and the flood, and when I think of you, and I think of all of us, but when I think of you, when you are a river, meaning when you are focused and, and you are motivated and you got a goal in mind, you are incredible. Uh, like all of us, when we're like a flood and we're all over the place, we're, we're not at our best. But man, I encourage you to to find your passion. I know you will, and um, you're going to be great at it. You're going to be excellent at it. And I look forward to seeing what that is. Um, thank you so much. Good luck. Adeline Horton, thank you for cheering with me all these years during the basketball season. You are a strong and dependable person. I know I could always count on you to be there for practices and games. I wish you all the luck at Oglethorpe. I cannot wait to hear all the great things you will be accomplishing in the future. Love ya. Adeline Horton is our third senior on the tennis team. And when I think of Adeline, I think of someone who uh, represents Lakeview Academy very well. Um, Adeline uh, played one singles for us this year on our girls team, and that is a that's a very hard spot because you're consistently playing uh, the top level uh, that the opponent offers. And she wins with grace, she loses with grace, and I think that's something uh, to be uh, highly proud of because, again, it makes Lakeview Academy um, look great. So I'm thankful for Adeline's service to our team um, over the years because she is a returning player, and I'm thankful for not only the wins that she gave us, but even more, the way she represented Lakeview Academy. Thank you, Adeline. And Matthew, it's Coach Chittero. It was great that you were able to make the commitment to soccer this season. I enjoyed coaching you in both soccer and cross country, and I truly thank you for putting in all the work that you have over the years. You're extremely talented in many things, and what I enjoy most about you is your humility. I remember you being confident enough to speak up when you felt like you could help the team in any way possible, and it says a lot about your character. When I asked you what position you felt most comfortable playing, and your response was, wherever I can help the team most, coach. Thanks for all you have meant. Hey, Landy, it's Coach Chittero. You were such a joy to have on the cross-country team this year. I am thankful for not only your toughness and work ethic, but your vocal leadership as well. You did what leaders do and bring people up to their potential. You would not settle for anything but the absolute best effort from yourself and your teammates. That is such a testament to your character, and I hope you take on more leadership roles as you get older. I will miss your toughness most of all, and how often I would hear you say, suck it up. <laughs> Good luck. Lindy Canaday, better known as Canny to me and her teammates. Lindy was injured for the entire season, and yet she was at just about every practice, willing to do anything we asked of her, even at every game. She is such a hard worker, and what a wonderful attitude for a young lady who was injured and couldn't play with her friends. Sarah, I'm so glad you were part of the team this year. It's been uh, awesome getting to know you and your sister. And I just wanted you to know that even though you didn't participate in many meets, it's been awesome seeing you get better at practice this year and just uh, seeing your joy and passion and the things that you do and how hard uh, you go at practice when you're there and, and getting better regardless of whatever situation you may be in. That's stuff you can't coach, the willingness to get better. And that's gonna take you very far in life. And I know that you're gonna be successful in everything you do. It's been a joy getting to know you this year. Hey Michael, it's Coach Chittero. I can't say enough about how much of an impact you had on the soccer and cross country teams this year. You give off such a positive vibe and your positive energy is really so inspirational. You're one of the most uplifting individuals I have ever coached. 
I am most proud of how hard you worked this year, and it showed as you broke all the goals you set this year. And I was most impressed with your discipline. You would go to play practice and then go do your runs every time you missed. You are such a great role model. I wish you the best of luck next year. Ellie Kate Madonna, better known as Donna, another senior with a great attitude and such a great team player. Without her three-point shot against Tallulah Falls on our last possession, we would not have made it to the region finals. Donna was fun to be with each and every day at practice or game. Ellie Kate Madonna, you were a four-year starter for the varsity soccer program. I want to thank you for all of your wonderful defense that you've played for us throughout the last four years. Your skills have improved every year and you turn not just into a defender, but an actual true soccer player. I, I love your tenacity and everything you, you brought to this program. And after watching your clutch shot at the basketball game against the Little Falls, I know with a, without a shadow of a doubt that you would have been one of our penalty kick takers if we ever had to do that. I wish you all the best in your future. Keep playing. When I think of Nicholas, I think of this older gentleman that I used to play tennis with at Longwood Park. I was 10 or 11, he was 70, and I hit the ball harder than him. Uh, I moved a lot better than him, but he always beat me because, matter of fact, he just had a better tennis IQ. He was a smarter player. And when I think of this man who was really humble, um, I think of Nicholas. Um, Nicholas has a, he is a brilliant tennis player with a very high tennis IQ. Uh, he's very talented, but he certainly knows what he's doing and leaves a lot of players from opposing teams scratching their head, wondering what just happened when they walk off um, to report scores. To Nicholas, I'm thankful for the doubles wins that you gave us. I'm thankful for your time that you invested in learning tennis. And I'm also thankful for the way you represented our school. Thank you, Nicholas. Carter, I'm so proud of you. So proud of how you've grown as a as a player, but most importantly as a, as a person. Your leadership and your work ethic this year, you know, were phenomenal, and it's such a joy to have coached you. You've been a huge part of our program for over four years. You know, from from video guy to stat guy to student assistant to finally a player. You never give up on your dreams. You never give up on your hopes, and those are huge things for you in the future. I know you're going to be extremely successful. Thank you for everything. You're the perfect example of what a team player is all about. I hope it's been a great experience. You've definitely left a positive mark on our basketball program. Stay true to who you are. Stay in touch. I love you, Carter. Carter, I just want to start by saying thank you um, for your effort this year on the golf team. I know that uh, this year did not end the way we wanted it through the virus and those concerns. Um, but I want to give you some praise. You're probably the most likable player I have ever coached. Uh, the relationship that we've been able to build over the last year through basketball and golf has been it's been unbelievable. Uh, I know that you will be successful in whatever you choose to do later in life, and I wish you the very best. Thanks, buddy. Emma Kate Park. Okay, so what do I say to my own daughter? I wish I could have been as strong as you when I was your age. I'm amazed at your confidence and leadership. You have a way with people that shows your love for everyone, all the way from the little pre-K kids to kids your age. Thank you so much for all you have done as the captain for football and basketball. Your leadership skills really shined this year. I'm so, so proud of you. I love you to the moon and back. Hey here, it's Coach Chittero. It was such a pleasure watching you play goalie for us over the years. You're an incredible goalie and sacrifice so much of yourself so many times for our team, and I can't thank you enough. I'm so glad you were able to come back and play this year. There are many things I will miss from you, but most of all, it will be your smile and your comment of, Coach! No matter what the team did, you always would laugh it off with a great sense of humor. You have such a big heart and are such a caring person, and I will miss that most about you. Good luck. Hey, Max, it's Coach Chittero. I've enjoyed coaching you in both soccer and cross country. You have always been a competitor that gives 100% when you're participating, and I thank you for that. This year, I've been most impressed with how much of an asset you became on our team. Whether it was early on in the season, putting pressure on defense as it forward, or later in the season, doing an outstanding job shutting down opponents on defense, you got it done. 
I was also impressed that you were able to make such an impact even while taking on a leading role with robotics. You're going to do great things and I wish you the best. Max, thank you for all you've meant to the shooting team. All the years of you have worked hard and become a better shooter have really paid off for the team and we just want to thank you and your family for being so supportive. Best of luck in the future. Chance was one of my favorite players uh, to work with at practice because this year he was super focused. He wanted to be there. You could see it in his eyes. He wanted to get better and he served as a very good model for his teammates. I'm proud of all of our seniors, of all of our players. But Chance, I'm very proud of you for your improvements this year. Thank you for what you have done for our team and thank you for uh, a great, short, but great season. Thank you, Chance. Anna Price. Anna, 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 what can I say? I love your hilarious and to the point attitude. I have so enjoyed getting to know you better through basketball and football cheer. I think you made this year so much fun. You don't know how wonderful you truly are as a person. I cannot wait to cheer for you as you continue this next phase of your life in college. Love you lots. Hey Manny, it's Coach Chittero. You're one of the most enjoyable players I have ever coached. I have watched you from middle school through high school, work with so much determination and grit and go above and beyond in your excellent shows in everything you do. Whether it is in sports or academics and most importantly in your character. Northwestern is fortunate to get such an exceptional young man. I hope you continue to play soccer in college. I know you're going to do some phenomenal things with your life. I will miss you coming in my office to chat most of all. Good luck. Elise Roark, or better known as E. What a wonderful young lady, quick with the wit, and a great teammate who really cared for her teammates. E was content to stand in the corner and wait for somebody to pass her the ball, and she'd knock down a three-point shot. For such a little player, she would mix it up underneath the basket with anyone and usually come away with the rebound. Maggie Scroggs, you are such a sweet-spirited person. You were such a humble cheerleader that you could be placed anywhere and still have a smile on your face, which I appreciated so much. I'm so glad you became a part of the squad in high school. Your dedication to the team made a world of difference. Good luck at Georgia Tech. Love ya. Eliza Snyder. I'm so glad you decided to cheer for football this year. Your smile and happy attitude you brought to the games and practices was wonderful. I will never forget the pardon my French, group me message you left for us after the pep rally. It always makes me laugh. You are such a wonderful person. I can't wait to see you play basketball at Mercer. You will always have your own Lakeview cheer section cheering for you. Good luck next fall. Love you, girl. Liza Snyder, or just plain Sny, as I like to call her. When, as a coach, when your best player on your team is also the hardest worker, you are basically stealing money from your school with your paycheck because you don't have to motivate the kids each day to work hard because she does. She led by example, and which made all her teammates work hard. Such a wonderful young lady who loved her teammates and picked them up. Jessica Stark is our final senior on the tennis team, and I can kind of feel for Jessica a little bit because she played three singles. Let me tell you what that means that you've got to wait for probably two, two and a half hours. Watch everybody else play. It's much similar to maybe what a pinch hitter does in baseball, waiting all game to play and then being called on in the ninth inning and said, okay, we need you to get a win here. She handled that position so well uh, with such grace. Jessica, thank you for the way that you handled probably the most difficult position on the team. Uh, that is three singles. Thank you for the wins that you gave us. Thank you for the attitude that you had. And thank you for making Lakeview Tennis great. Thank you, Jessica. Sam, I'm so honored to have coached you these past four years. I truly admire the person that you are and the man that you're becoming. You exemplify everything that a student athlete should be and everything that we talk about within our team. There's not many like you. You've blessed me and my family more than you'll possibly ever know. You're a great teammate, a competitor, great leader, and I loved how you held everybody accountable, yourself, your teammates, and your coaches. I know you're going to be a huge success. You have too many great qualities. I can't wait to visit you at your practice one day. I hope you've enjoyed basketball as much as I enjoyed coaching you. 
Continue to let your morals and your values guide your decisions. Thank you for everything. I love you, Sammy. Sam, it's been an honor to be your coach. Um, getting to know you, uh, getting to understand you by working together individually, uh, just sharing with each other. Uh, you've truly uh, meant a lot to me. I love watching you play. The, the presence you bring on the field and your attitude and effort are incredible um, and really make a difference on your team. I hope you continue that throughout the rest of your life because it makes a difference for you and all the people around you. Uh, I wish you all the best at Mercer and I'm surely going to miss you and it has again been an honor to be your coach. Thank you. Hey Satchel, it's Coach Chittero. Satchel, what I appreciate most about you was the respect you had for showing up on time every single practice. That meant a lot to me because I knew I could count on you to be a role model for our underclassmen. Your ability to be up late most nights, finishing homework after cross country and play practice was so impressive to be out at our morning practices the next day on time. I will miss the times we ran together and chatted about life most of all. I wish you the best next year. Satchel, first off, I just wanted to say that I am uh, just blown away by your attitude all year round and, and your worth ethic. It was a blast seeing you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. You were always there. You were always excited and eager to get going. Easily one of my favorite parts of the season was watching you break your personal best at the Hall County Championships. I'm extremely proud of everything you've done this year. Jordan Thomas, Coach Groom. Man, I am going to miss you. You played, uh, gosh, I think you played about every position uh, that we could, just about every position, and you played all of them extremely, extremely well. I uh, appreciate you. Um, you're an incredible asset to our program, incredible asset to our school. Um, I encourage you to develop. You know, we've talked about it, uh, how you talk to yourself. Man, keep, keep developing that in such a positive and encouraging way. Because, man, you've got a lot of talent. You've got a lot of things to offer this, this world, this community to make it better. And, Go miss you and uh, wish you all the best. Jordan, I'm, I'm thankful to have been your coach. Being around you makes everybody better. Your attitude, um, your giving, your humility is second to none. I'm, I am thankful to have watched you grow and develop. Um, I hope you have the opportunity in college to play because you would make your team better. You give so much to others and you do it in a very quiet way, unassuming. Um, that's what true ser servant leadership is. Uh, and I will, uh, I will truly miss you and just your um, smile that you bring in the, in the effort every day. Um, I, I appreciate you very much, buddy. Hey, Maddie Tolls, it's Coach Chittero. Is there anything to miss about Maddie? Of course there will be. Where do I start? I've always loved the fact that you have been confident enough to speak your mind and tell it like it is. I will miss how you are never satisfied and you are always driven to do better and be better. You have such a passion for any type of competition and I, and I am thankful that I got to coach you and be around you so much over the years. Most of all, I will miss the days when my office door was closed and you would bust in and say, what up coaches, to your mom and I, and then say something to make me feel good about myself like, y'all stop acting like you're really working. Thanks for being such a wonderful person to coach. I will miss you. Matty Tolls, or better known as Tolly. Tolly, you're one of the most coachable kids I've ever coached. You might not always do everything I asked you to do, but you sure did try. 
What a great team player, always full of energy, which catches on to her teammates and helped us have many, many great practices. Maddie Tolles, you were a four-year starter for the varsity soccer program, particularly in the center midfield position, which is one of the toughest positions on the field. You wanted to play every second of every game. You are Iron Man. No matter how you felt, no matter how tired you were, you always gave us everything you had. You were such a dominant force there in center mid, and we're going to miss you tremendously next year. I loved how you always wanted to play, and you were probably the most annoying player I ever had when I actually sat you out because you just kept saying, put me back in, put me back in, put me back in. But I love it. I love that you wanted to play so bad. Uh, you kept improving every year. Your field vision is incredible. And like I said, we're truly going to miss you. I wish you all the best, and I hope you keep playing. Brandon Wilson, Coach Groom, what an asset you have been to our football program. You certainly have made a big difference um, in your time here. One of my favorite memories of you is, is absolutely, um, I guess it was your junior year, Georgia Force, and you know, we ran the ball, can't remember the play, but it took uh, took about all 11 of those jokers to bring you down, and you just kept moving the pile, and I don't know, that was just such a, a, a powerful, powerful play, a powerful thing that you did, uh, very memorable, and um, so I hope you take that with you a little bit, that it's gonna take a lot of people to bring you down, and because um, I think, uh, I think you got a lot of good stuff inside of you. I sure do. I uh, appreciate you, man. Um, wish you all the best. Good luck. Raylan, you surely do have a great talent um, in the shooting sports. Uh, it was great to hear about all your success this year. We wish you all the best in the future. Well, welcome back. Uh, what a wonderful way to celebrate our athletes. Uh, you can see what they mean to our coaches and um, what we intertwine ourselves with their lives, not only as athletes, but as people. Um, now let's look at the years of uh, participation and in, in competing on the teams here at Lake View Academy. Here are your senior athletes of 2020 in their years of participation. Caleb Adams, four years of football, four years of golf. Jackie Allen, one year of cross country, four years of basketball. Joseph Ball, three years of soccer, one year of cross country. Andrew Baker, three years of football, three years of golf, two years of basketball. Hannah Baumgartner, two years of football cheerleading, two years of basketball cheerleading. Ashton Blim, four years of tennis. Bella Bird, four years of basketball cheerleading. Abigail Child, four years of soccer, one year of cross country, two years of volleyball, one year of basketball cheerleading. Maddie Child, four years of soccer, one year of cross country, one year of basketball, three years of volleyball, one year of basketball cheerleading. John Carter Cooper, four years of sporting clays, three years of soccer, four years of cross country. Holden Cooper, four years of basketball, two years of football, three years of baseball. Andrew Estes, Four years of baseball. Trent Glover. Four years of soccer. Four years of football. Eliza Hamby. Two years of volleyball. Four years of basketball cheerleading. Lily Harris. Four years of cross country. Four years of swimming. Katherine Henderson. Two years of sporting clays, two years of soccer, four years of cross country, four years of swimming. Sam Highfield, four years of football. Adeline Horton, four years of tennis, three years of basketball cheerleading. 
Matthew Jew. Two years of soccer, three years of cross country. <laughs> Lindy Canaday, one year of cross country, four years of basketball. <laughs> Michael Linden, two years of soccer, one year of cross country, one year of swimming. Sarah Lane, one year of tennis, one year of swimming. Ellie Kate Madonna, four years of soccer, four years of basketball, two years of volleyball. Nicholas Mazzaferro, four years of tennis. Carter McCamey, two years of golf, one year of basketball. Sarah Miguel, two years of cross country. Emma Kate Park, four years of football cheerleading, four years of basketball cheerleading. Here Patel, three years of soccer, two years of football. Max Pethel, four years of sporting clays, four years of soccer, three years of cross country. Chance Pederoy, four years of tennis, one year of basketball. Anna Price, two years of swimming, two years of football cheerleading, two years of basketball cheerleading. Manny Reddy, four years of soccer, four years of cross country, one year of swimming. Elise Roark, four years of basketball, one year of volleyball. Maggie Scroggs, one year of volleyball, three years of basketball cheerleading. Georgia Shipley, one year of swimming, one year of soccer. Eliza Snyder, four years of basketball, one year of football cheerleading, two years of soccer, one year of softball. Jessica Stark, four years of tennis. Sam Stewart, four years of basketball, four years of baseball. Satchel Sumner, four years of cross country, two years of swimming, two years of basketball. Jordan Thomas, four years of football, four years of baseball. Ryan Thompson, two years of soccer, one year of cross country. Maddie Tolles, four years of soccer, one year of cross country, four years of basketball, three years of volleyball. Brandon Wilson, four years of football. Raylynn Zimmel, two years of sporting clays, one year of soccer, three years of cross country. Now we'd like to recognize our Golden Lions. Our Golden Lions are, are kids who have competed in three sports as well as being on the honor roll. It's what wonderful commitment from them all year long to be on a practice field, at a game, or somewhere in a team activity while still proving their uh, prowess in the classroom. Um, here we are with those students. I'm proud to introduce your 2020 Golden Lion Awards to the senior athletes. Our first recipient is Abigail Child. Our next recipient is her sister, Maddie Child. Our next recipient is Max Pethel. And our final recipient this year is Maddie Tolls. Now is the time that we recognize an athlete uh, for their uh, representation of one of the honored uh, awards here at our senior banquet. It's the Crumley Cup. The Crumley Cup represents Al and Jenny Crumley and their family. Al and Jenny had four kids who came through Lakeview and participated in every season while they were here at Lakeview. Um, they were tireless workers, tireless givers. And this represents the athlete that gives to his team, his or her team 
in a way that can't be measured with statistics necessarily. It's measured with heart and desire. And the, the recipient tonight is described as a young man with incredible work ethic, a young man that is willing to sacrifice and do what it takes to lead his team. He is accountable and committed to the success of the team. It is an honor to award the 2020 Crumley Cup to Jordan Thomas. Now we'd like to recognize our male and female MVP athletes. The MVP athlete is the athlete who gives the most to their team or teams. The most valuable player watches are also voted on by the varsity coaches. It represents the young man and young lady considered to be critical to the success of their teams that they played on while at Lakeview. Our female recipient is described as someone any coach would want on their team. She plays with a consistent passion and desire to win. She is a leader. She is a true difference maker. She just plays the game the right way, accompanied by a wonderful attitude at practice and in games. It is an honor to give the Most Valuable Female Player Athlete Award to Maddie Toll. The male MVP recipient is described as someone who is a tenacious competitor. He is a player who will give you everything he has for the success of his team. A young man who is not scared to lead. He possesses the competitive fire and leadership that benefited him and his teammates. He has the intangible attribute of heart, a characteristic any coach wants to have in his players. It is an honor to give the Most Valuable Male Player Award to Sam Stewart. In closing, I'd like to thank everyone. It is a different time. We are uh, doing things a little bit differently during this um, unprecedented pandemic in our lifetime. Uh, we want to wish you the best going forward. Know you always have a home at Lakeview. And remember, you're always alive.